Hey, it's PE with Coach Smith, and I just wanted to give you an update on the video that you're going to see is from field day. Now, this is about a week later, and I wanted you to see the um, just layout. I did my water games here in this big parking lot behind me. I did field events both in the um, parking lot over there as well as the grass, and as you can see, I have a huge area all the way to the other side of that. So I've got a great layout. I am very blessed at my school. A couple of things with the um, game descriptions. Number one, it was fast and furious because I took the video at my lunch hour. So I was trying to hustle and get through all the games um, in between on my break. Number two, it's the quality is not that great because the, there were generators of the bounce houses. So it's hard to hear on some of them. And the, if you need more resources or questions, uh, you have questions about the games or activities, just shoot me a comment below and I will be sure to answer those in more detail. But hope um, you can gather some good resources and activities for your field day and make it a great day. Field events. Hurdles. Each partner lines up behind a cone. The volunteer says, ready, set, go. They run and jump over four hurdles around their cone, jump over the four hurdles again, and the first one across the finish line is the winner. 50 yard dash. The partners line up between the two orange cones and the volunteer says, ready, set, go. They race down and cross the finish line at the other end where those cones are. They then walk back. For memory match, we go against uh, our partners. I run down, I turn one over. I then turn a second over. If it matches, I bring them back to the hoop. If it doesn't match, I turn them both over and come back and it's my partner's turn. So this is what the Frisbees look like. We just taped a clip art. We did a Star Wars theme this year. So they have to look for both Yoda or uh, BB-8. So that's what they look like. We just taped them on the inside of the Frisbee. So this is for our Angry Birds game. We're competing one partner at a time. They stand at the cone and they are trying to throw the ball and knock the Angry Bird off. If they get it, they bring it back and put it in the bucket and they get three tries and then their partner has a turn. So for Jenga, we just have the large uh, pieces of wood and they play Jenga with their partner. Scooter races. One is on the blue team, one is on the red team. They simply ride the scooter down around the cone and back. So these are our Razor scooters. I highly recommend. I got these all off of Facebook Marketplace. You can find them as well as Amazon or Walmart. You can check them out. They're about $80, but they skid and they are awesome. It's a, definitely a favorite. You just go down around the cone and back. We let all four go at the same time, but definitely a kid favorite. So really for our obstacle course, we wait and do this at the end and see what equipment we have left in our storage. Uh, and then we just kind of combine equipment and make a cool obstacle course. So you start here, ready, set, go. You're competing against your partner. You're walking on the stones and you're going through the hoop, through the tunnel. You pick up the egg spoon and you walk on the balance beam. Then you place the spoon down, go through the tunnel, more balance beam, jump in and out of the hoop or tire, through the hoop, around the cone and back. When you go back, you're picking up your egg and spoon, carrying it over the balance beam, dropping here and going back through the tunnel, through the hoop and stepping stones. So this is our obstacle course. We tend to change it every year. Okay, so for home run, run hitter, you wanna make sure that you have your line at the sign, just a safety tip for you there, that they come up, they put the ball on the tee, they get to swing and hit, they get three tries. We make them go get their own ball, bring them all back. They carry the bucket with them to collect them, bring them back, and then it's their partner's turn. So again, make sure your line is back here, away from the tee for safety so nobody's hitting anybody with a bat. So the Cannon Launchers, these are awesome. I got these from Palo Sports, but a lot. I think there's a couple of different companies that have them. The key with these is make sure that the ball is in there pretty far, but not to the big part. If they get the big part, oh, it's gonna be a problem. We have trouble getting them out. So we tell the kids, make sure that you can see part of the ball. They put it down. This is just holding the extra balls here. They get two tries and they jump and try to hit the wall. You can also have them with their partner on the poly spots across the way and they're trying to catch the ball. So we do both. The little ones definitely just try to hit the wall. The older kids will try to catch them. So cannon launchers, 
really cool uh, item. So this is baseball throw. We did get the smaller one donated, but the larger one is great because it has baseball here and then football on the other side. So you'll actually see the football later at another station, but those are on Amazon. I'll link those below, but this is our football throw. They, I mean, baseball throw. They simply stand in the cone, throw, and try to make it in the net. So this is beach ball dash. You simply put the ball by your hip. Your partner has their hip and you are walking. You can put your arm around them or you can have your arms up, but you are walking and moving down around the cones and back. So beach ball dash is one of our cooperative activities versus competitive. You compete against another team. So partners are working together to get the ball down around without using their hands. Speed stacks, we love to use the larger stack. I'll link those below, but you do an up stack of three, then an up stack of six, then an up stack of three around the cone, and then you're down stacking all the way back. First one, the cone is the winner. Okay, here we use our hippity hops. We've got a couple of different sizes for our older kids and our younger kids. They simply ride the hippity hop down around the cone and back. Sack race, old fashioned sack race. You get in, you're racing against your partner down around the cones and back. So tic-tac-toe, this is one that we also got on Amazon, I'll link it below, but you're playing tic-tac-toe. Uh, you can only take one bean bag at a time. You run down, place it in a square, come back, get the other bean bag until you get a tic-tac-toe. Now, if you use all three bean bags and no one has a uh, tic-tac-toe, we tell them they then come back, touch the cone, go back, and now they can move their bean bag to another square. So the game is not over once they use all three bean bags. They just have to come back and touch this uh, cone in between each time of moving their um, beanbag to get a tic-tac-toe. This is cornhole. We simply have both students stand at the cone, tossing their beanbags to try to land on or in the hole of their cornhole box. Whoever gets the most points wins. Bigfoot. Each partner has a pair of big feet that they use to go down around the cones and back. Buddy skis is another cooperative activity. There's two spots for them to stand on, one on each board. They go down and around the cone and back. Okay, so field goal, another thing we got for our grant, I got it off of Amazon, I'll link it below, but they simply try to kick the field goal and score. The product comes with both the ball, the tee, and the field goal. The kids have loved it. It's been great for our football unit as well. Soccer shootout, just a simple ball on the kick the goal and try to score. One partner's kicking, one partner's the goalie, and you switch. Water events. Before heading to the water activities, they will go to this designated grassy area where they line up behind their cone color. They take off their shoes and socks and wait for coach to let them go. I typically remind them to walk everywhere they go and to try to hit all the different water activities. I am so fortunate that my PTO purchases two water slides. These are great and the students really, really enjoy them. This was a new activity and it's called Splash Tower. I got it off of Amazon and I will link it below. It was a huge hit with the kids. One partner sits in the chair while the other tries to throw the three different balls to try to hit the target and dunk them. It makes a huge splash and the kids loved it. This was the car wash my husband made. It was awesome. And you simply ride the scooter through the car wash and you get sprinkled with all sorts of water. This game is called Number Order and students run down to the big pool. It's filled with golf balls and water that has soap so you cannot see the numbers on the golf balls, but they're trying to get the number one golf ball, bring it back to their egg carton and put it in its place. They continue that one through six. They are racing against another team. Water can squeeze. This is a favorite of mine. One partner sits inside the hula hoop with a tennis ball can on their head. It is marked with a piece of tape and their goal is to fill that tennis ball can with water. 
the other partner has the sponge and they dip it in the water. They run down and squeeze it into the can, obviously getting their partner very wet. They then switch places and repeat until they fill the water can. Gym events. Ski ball is played just like the arcade game. One partner is rolling the ball up the ramp and trying to land it into one of the buckets. You get two rolls and then you switch with your partner. Your partner that is not rolling is standing behind the buckets to retrieve the ball. You'll notice we have a lot of different buckets to provide lots of point values for our students. Bowling. One partner is the bowler while the other one is the pin setter and ball retriever. When the pin setter gives a thumbs up, the bowler rolls to try to knock down as many pins as they can. We give our older students two turns and our younger students one turn. They then switch positions. Hot shot. One partner is blue and one partner is red. Each of you shoot from all of the colored spots that are your same color. Who can make the most shots? Soccer darts. Each person gets two tries to kick the soccer ball to make it stick to the dart board. It's Velcro. This is a great Amazon buy. I will link it below. The sign says face painting, but we actually switched to tattoos this year and they were great. Just a reminder, you need plenty of sponges, cups of water, paper towels, and trash cans. We did a variety of sports equipment as well as summer themed tattoos. This was a big hit with the kiddos. Nine square in the air is a big hit. It enables a lot of people to play at one time. You'll notice the line is near the wall to stay out of the other station activities. That's a wrap. Baker Elementary Field Day 2023.